Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out a demo called Bots Are Stupid. This is a programming puzzle game about getting a robot to speedrun a platformer level. Little known fact about myself, uh, before becoming a full-time YouTuber, I was a programming major in university. So this is kind of up my alley. I haven't done too much programming in a while to be honest, but I bet it'll all come back. It's a bit of a pseudo-programming game, like they invent their own programming language, which is more simple and probably accessible to people that don't have programming background and you're gonna have to use it to take the bots and have it reach the porto portal and it teaches you the instructions yeah because this is supposed to be an introductory game there's a lot of text but i'll sum it up it just wants you to start by saying move right and then you press play to send the instruction or alt enter and that just makes the robot move right and then you'll need to use a wait command to tell your robot to wait how long before executing the next instruction. Then you can use move left. So we'll say wait, and then there should be seconds, right? Yeah, number in seconds. I'll say like 1.5 seconds, if I had to guess. I wasn't paying attention to how long. Alt, where's my alt key? 1.5. Yeah, okay, that's pretty clean. <laughs> pretty good guess. One more thing. You can use stop to make your robot stop accelerating. However, this won't slow down your robot mid-air since there's no friction to do so. Let's continue. So this is just the demo, but there's actually a lot to it. There's like 15 levels and global leaderboards. There are leaderboards for number of lines of code and for fastest time that you've done it. So that's really interesting. And there's probably other mechanics as well. What do you have to tell me, IntroBot? These are energy orbs. They need to be picked up to charge the portal. Try picking up this one. Yeah, so we'll just move left. You can see all available commands by clicking this question mark. I'm going to try to solve the whole level right now, not just get the first orb. If I had to guess, I think I'm gonna have to wait two seconds and then move right. And then I think another wait two seconds and then move, move left. And then after moving left, there's a little conveyor belt here so i'm obviously gonna go faster so i'm gonna wait still like 1.2 seconds uh, just just a guess and then move right we'll see if i'm anywhere close to getting it okay just barely made it swap Woo -hoo -hoo, first try let's go we made it to the portal the average we were above average in the bad way is <laughs> because this is golf score we want to get low and but at least our code had fewer lines than average well either way you can optimize it if you want like lower the amount of seconds i'm just gonna go for completion this time around and yeah i assume we're gonna get more commands now such as using their jump command you can probably imagine what it does it won't have any effect if your bot isn't grounded try to jump here all right so we're gonna move right wait like a really short time maybe 0.2 and then jump now what i don't know is whether it's gonna keep me moving right i'll try one again and then jump just to here and then i'm just gonna assume this will work so i'm just gonna send it all the way i don't know if this will work like i don't know if i have to make it move right again after jumping no it keeps moving right it just oh instead of specifying the wait time yourself you could use wait until or wait while you could wait for various states, but wait until grounded will be the most useful here. Yeah, that is useful. Until grounded. And then, can I copy-paste in this game? Yes, I can. Very nice. Alright, so it lands and then jumps and then jumps. Very cool. Learning the mechanics. People did this in five lines. That's pretty sweet. Still not faster than average. You hate to see it. I've been waiting to show you. Are we gonna finally use the grappling hook? These are boosters. There's one under my face cam. I am not a booster, unfortunately. You don't need them to finish level, but they give your bots a nice speed boost in the direction it's moving. Try this one. All right, move right, wait. I think 0.2 is good again, and then jump. I don't know where it's gonna land, but I'm gonna assume it lands. Actually, you know what? Let's find out where it lands. It lands right there, and then it gets speed and moves to here. So, so once we edit the code, it explodes our robot. It jumps and we land. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait until grounded. And then I'm going to wait another 0 
Then I'm gonna have it move left and then jump like right away. And that should get me there. Ooh, I went a little too early. Okay, okay, okay. We'll make it 0.6, maybe double the time. Because technically, I guess I can just hit the wall there. I don't need to be super efficient. Hey, we were faster than average for once. Let's go. I'm still learning the mechanics, though. This is very interesting. I'm glad that the language is very, very understandable. Some programming languages can be a bit more confusing than others. All right, it's time to learn about the grappling hook, it would seem. Very nice. You can use it to swing around any solid object that's super useful for changing the direction your body's moving without losing any speed. I can start by walking off here, then swing around this box using hook right. So what, move right and then hook right? Is that all you need? There's no way, right? Oh yeah, you gotta wait, duh. Okay, so it just launches a hook when it's ready. I'll wait maybe one second. Uh, it's still too long or too short. A second and a half. That's not enough. All right, here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna move right and I'm gonna jump right away. It's gonna get me closer to this box and then maybe I'll be more capable of hooking. I'm gonna wait 1.2 seconds. I've hooked and then you use unhook to detach. Okay, here's what I'm gonna change. I'm gonna make it wait 1.3. I'm gonna hook right. I'm gonna wait 0.3 and then unhook and see if that launches me into the goal. Well, it does. I just missed the portal thing, the checkpoint. Maybe I won't jump then. Maybe I will just run off. Yeah, okay, I hit the portal, but I didn't succeed. So now I want to wait to 0.2 to unhook. Oh, no, 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 I had it backwards. I wanted to wait longer, not shorter. 0.4. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, 2.3 seconds. Love to see it. Five lines tying the high score for shortest code. I feel like shortest code is the most interesting to me. Fastest is cool too. Like it's cooler to watch, but it's probably really tedious to solve. But I think shortest lines is cooler to solve. All right, so I'm on my own. All right, and I wasn't fully paying attention to the instructions, but it seems the idea is that you can hook down. Let's get to the portal. I'm on my own now. Move right. Maybe 1.5 seconds. Then I'm gonna jump. Wait until boosted. Because I want to jump and hit this. And then once I hit this, then I would like to hook down. And I want to see what this does. Okay. He didn't hook down. Let me, let me try something else. No, it works. So hook down just didn't do anything because there was nothing to hook into. Yeah, there was nothing to hook into. That's why. Um, so what I'm going to do is just wait half a second and then hook down. See if that lines up well. Nah, I think I'm just jumping too late. Let me try something totally different. I'm going to wait 0.7 seconds because I want to hit this moving downwards. Oh! It's not just down, it's down left. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I misunderstood. Jump, wait until boosted, hook down left. I want to see what this looks like. Okay. Let's try 0.8. Well, let me try something different then. Instead of hooking down left, I want to hook down right. I need to wait a less amount of time. Let's do 0 0.2. That's a little better. 1.8 after jumping. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So then wait until orb pickup. And then I want to wait a little. Well, I could unhook. I'll like wait 0 0.2. Unhook. Move left. So this should at least get me through the top section. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And then wait until orb pick up again and then move right. And I want to see where that exactly sends me. Look at that speed. 
Oh, I have to fight against this. Alright, that really slows me down. And then I fall off and die. Good to know. I also want to wait until or pick up, move right, and then jump, and then hook down right. Or maybe just right. Hook right. See where that hook lands me. Okay, misses. Wait until grounded. Then jump. And then wait. 0.2. Hook down right. Let's see where this gets me. This might be a bit better. Yeah, eh, okay. <laughs> Got me a little bit too high. Um... Alright, getting myself back up to speed here. After I jump, I want to maybe hook down to the right so I could maybe dodge this block. Now I gotta figure out when to do it. Now I noticed that actually I can figure out the timing of things. If I pause the run and if I look at the bottom left, first off I can go frame by frame, which is really helpful. But also I can pause and I can look at the time that's elapsed and the time since the last command, which I think should be really cool for letting me set up what I want to, because maybe I want to pause right here. 1.29 seconds ago. That's That was the time I wanted to do it, so let me do, wait, 1.29. And then I want to hook down right to see if this lines up. It's a really cool tool you can use to optimize the code. Here's what I'm going to try instead. I, at, when I jump, I'm going to wait until grounded again, and then see where the a jump after that gets me. So it'll just be a couple, or a set of bunny hops. <laughs> it gets me right into the spikes. Honestly, not too big a fan of that. Man, okay, so I need to like make a more sophisticated solution. Oh, wait, you can change directions midair. I forgot about this. I want to wait. 0.5, move left midair. Wait, maybe 0.2 seconds and then move right again. I forgot you could do that. And I want to do this jump and then see where I land. Well, actually, I'm going to wait until grounded. And then I'm going to jump again. And I want to see where that takes me. See, that's a little bit better. I'm going to wait 0.22 Close to the original, but still a touch more. That's so close. I don't know if it's possible to actually make that gap. All right, well, here's how it's going to go then. And this second jump, I'm going to wait again, maybe 0 0.5, move left, wait, maybe another 0 0.5, and then hook right, wait until orb pickup. Then I want to wait maybe another 0.3 seconds on hook. These times are all guesstimates, but I should be able to adjust them fairly easily. So just midair and then... Okay, that was too long of a second wait. Wait for this, move right, and then hook right. And we'll see if that gets me there. Woo! Okay, we're closer! What I may want to do instead is wait just a touch longer before moving right and hooking right. So I'm going to go with 0 0.33, because that way I create a little bit a longer of a hook, which will allow me to swing a little bit better. Yeah, you know what? I'll continue to wait a little longer. I'll go 0 0.37. And then if I need to, I can adjust the length or time before release. Let's go 0 0.4 and 0 0.22. I can feel it all coming together now. It's so close. All right, we're going to wait 0 0.16. My god. Oh, I actually thought that would hit there. Yeah, this has a good angle. It just doesn't have the speed. Actually, no. I think it hits this. Yeah, it hits this. So I can wait a little bit shorter. 0 0.15. And then I should have this done. Nice. All right, so we were way faster than the average. Our code was a lot longer, but hey, not too bad. Middle point between the high score and average. I almost want to optimize this code. Now that I realize that there's tools that you can go frame by frame, part of me really wants to optimize it. Oh, I'm going to tear my hair out. 
No, here's how it's gonna go. I'm just gonna accept that this code was bad. I'm, I'm gonna make the next level be a lot more optimized 